We are currently standing in the woods in the middle of a graveyard located on Stump House Mountain. Why is there a graveyard on top of Stump House Mountain, you ask? Well, because this used to be Tunnel Hill. There's about 200 graves all through the woods behind us. Find out the story. Coming right up. Y'all come along for the adventure. Come along. Before we tell you more about the graveyard, let's check out this awesome tunnel. Work started on this tunnel in the mid 1850s and it was never completed. Problem was the Civil War kind of got in the way. South Carolina we couldn't afford to continue to pump money into the project and the project died out. The tunnel stopped. It got maybe about a third of the way through to where they planned to get to with the tunnel before they ran out of money. If the tunnel would have been completed, it could have changed history, both for South Carolina and many states surrounding it as well. It was to become the world's longest tunnel at the time of construction. As you come in, the first thing you notice is that there's water dripping everywhere. There's water all down the sides of the tunnel as well. Also, the temperature stays the same in here at all times. It's like, I think it's 56 degrees at all times inside the tunnel. That made it a perfect place to age blue cheese. So the University of Clemson, a professor with the University of Clemson decided that's exactly what he was going to do. So he brought blue cheese into the tunnel, aged it and started selling it. Clemson University still sells blue cheese to this day. They've moved it out of the tunnel. They've duplicated the conditions here inside the tunnel, inside at Clemson University. The goal of the tunnel was to connect railroad lines from Charleston, South Carolina to Knoxville, Tennessee and end up in Cincinnati, Ohio. At the time, some products were coming to South Carolina all the way from Ohio, partly by boat, on what ended up being a 2,000 mile trip to Charleston. If completed, the rail line would have allowed South Carolina to easily ship and receive goods from many states using a far more direct route. The tunnel was cut through solid blue granite using only hand tools and black powder. It was an extremely slow and dangerous process with the workers only able to dig at a rate of around 200 feet a month. Men died from cave-ins, falling into the shaft, materials exploding and fighting. By the time the Civil War came about, South Carolina had spent a million dollars on the tunnel and decided to spend no more. So the work came to a close well before it was completed. We have now reached as far as we can go into the tunnel. It used to be you could go further. There's an opening down there. You can't really see it now, but it used to be you could go further. The tunnel does go a little bit further than this. The conditions became unsafe in there for people to go through, so they put this getting up the bricks all around it to stop people right here in the tunnel. Now we're off to find the secret hidden graveyard on top of the mountain. To get there, you have to find this empty signpost with a path behind it. The signpost might have said no trespassing at one point, but it's no longer here, so we decided to head on up. It's a pretty steep hike, so not one you'll want to take if you bring the family along. Word of warning, if you come to look for Tunnel Hill, it is not the easiest to find. And yeah, we walked right by it on the way up here, ended up on somebody's private property on the other side of the mountain. It's really difficult to see this place. All that you can really see is the foundation of what was a building of some sort. So if you're walking up this way on this little kind of road thing, look for that foundation there to your right. If you walk by it, you're gonna be lost in the woods somewhere like we were. This appears to be all that's left of any of the buildings that were once here. Welcome to Tunnel Hill the former home of 1,500 Irish immigrants. This was an interesting town, a very dangerous place. It opened up in the mid 1850s, shut down probably early in the 1860s. Only about 1,500 people ever lived here at most. And yet there's like 200 graves here in the woods. The men would go down the hill every day and work about 12 hours down there trying to dig this tunnel out of Stump House Mountain. When they'd come back up here, they'd be ready to drink. There were 17 saloons in the town of 1,500 people. That's a lot of drinking. There are dozens of makeshift headstones all over the place up here. None of them have writing on them. Standing just a couple hundred yards away from the tunnel is Isaquina Falls. Yeah, it's not lost on me the concept that man tried to dig through a mountain, couldn't get the job done. And here, a little stream has created a huge, beautiful waterfall. Absolutely breathtaking. The falls are named after a girl named Isaquina who was captured by Cherokee Indians. While captured, she fell in love with a white man named Alan Francis, and she overheard plans by the Cherokee to attack a nearby settlement. She escaped on a pony and rode to warn Francis. They ended up getting married and living on Stump House Mountain. Eventually, the Cherokee sent warriors after her. She took off for the waterfalls and jumped to a ledge where she hid until the warriors left. 
thinking she was dead. We hope you enjoyed checking out the Stump House Tunnel. Be sure to hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you can come along with us on future adventures. Come along. <laughs>